I found plenty of really fine stuff. What a night. By the way, this is terrible news. <sighs> Alright, so we restarted the day. You guys don't know this, because I'm probably not going to show it. But I played all of day four, and got, I started the night, and I was starting to raid, and I started looting something, and I hit gather all, and it crashed the game. I then found out that apparently gather all tends to crash the game right now. Cool. So I'll be I'll be looting things individually from this point on to hopefully avoid that. Unfortunately, if you die in this game, I mean, unfortunately, if you like for any reason have to leave or restart or whatever, uh, the day restarts entirely. So the game crashing means I have to start the entire day over. So if I seem disoriented at all, it's because I'm trying to figure out what's going on in my house. And when, but it's based on how the house was going like a while ago now. Let's see, well, he just came in, Marco. So let's have you, let's have you go to bed. Oh, someone's still in bed. Uh, wake up. You're not sleeping anymore. And we don't have enough beds for you to all sleep at once. What's going on here? These doors were open, so I already opened those doors. That happened last time. Okay. Uh, let's look at our things. Did we have any weapons yet? We do not have any weapons. Oh, we have a knife. We built a knife already. Okay. We don't have a shovel yet. Alright, sorry. I, I gotta take stock on where we left off at this point. Uh, Bruno. How about you go cook? That makes sense. Maybe check the radio real quick. It's day four. We could have new information. Oh, bio. Before this whole mess began, I lived with my wife and son in a better part of a city. I haven't seen them in a long time. I hope they're okay. I'm not doing so well, as you can see. Who needs football players during the war? Nobody cares about sports when every day can be their last, so I scavenge the ruins like everyone else, hoping for the best. Day four, my story. All this shelling, sniper fire, and lack of supplies makes you want to hide away. Sit down and cry. But we cannot let them crush our spirit. We have to show them that they can't take away our dignity. It's difficult here, but you know how we did in our street? Alright, so I'm gonna try to read. I'm, I hope, hopefully I don't reread something I've already read, but I can't remember what... For sure what was read last time. I think, as far as I can remember, I think I only read the story of the fireman to you guys so far. The upcoming days should still be nice and warm. Perfect for a stroll in the park. Yeah, nothing messes up a let's play like an auto a game where you don't have control of the saves and the game will crashes and rewinds a whole bunch of time. <laughs> Classical music. Looking for news. Rebel leader has instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply leads to death. That's as usual. There's something new. The city of Pogren is suffering extreme shortages of even the most vital supplies. If this goes on, people will soon become scavengers, scouring the city for, uh, for anything of use. I think that's already taking place, to be honest. That's more music. Let's go back to classical. I feel like classical's better to play in this setting than rock music when everything's gone to shit. Maybe that's just me, though. Something calming sounds like a good idea. Oh, what's the situation upstairs? I think I already opened all the cupboards. Alright, so what I probably want to build, if I can, is try to make an axe. Alright, we're ready to cook now. We only have one food. Let's see. I have heard that until people say they're very hungry, it doesn't actually matter. So it might be best to actually not cook for as long as we're in this condition, perhaps. Yeah, maybe I should go today without cooking and just let that happen. Hey, radio guy, let's have you- you can go visit the chair, sir. You're hungry and tired? Well, you're hungry and sick, I guess. Ah, we'll let people get work done. Let's get over here. So, last time I played this, a random event happened where someone came to my door and asked for help for something, but we'll see if that happens again. The game, I believe, is randomized, and I don't think it seeds in advance, because I, I don't think you can save scum this game to get different results for the same situation. I think that, uh, different things happen each time, so I assume the same thing is unlikely to happen, but... It's, and, and if it happens again, it probably is a dice roll. Let's make a shovel. We don't have one of those yet. Let's have you visit our other workbench. See what else we can do around here. I'm gonna do work about around the house. I'm gonna try to conserve food by not using it when we're... I'm gonna try not to use food when until people are very hungry, hopefully. I can make a second bed. In fact, I think that's exactly what I want to do here. Metal workshop already... Oh, rainwater collector. Exactly. Let's make that. We're gonna want to place that. Um, the rainwater collector is weird, by the way. So... 
You would think you'd need to place it outside, right? But it seems that you're allowed to- it feels like you're allowed to just put it wherever you want. Like, I can just be like, haha, rainwater collector over here. And just wherever I want. So it's probably- it probably makes sense to put near the work tables and everything because... It requires a filter. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Someone's at the door. Maybe this is the same situation again. Interesting. Oh, they need help. Yeah, it's the same guy. Okay. Interesting, the event- the same event is happening. Maybe it always happens on day two- day four. Anyway, I've got a, uh... I've got a shovel. We'll see if this thing is what happened last time. Or not. I'm really bummed out that I have to replay a day, because it- It kills the flow of the game a little bit. Let's get in here. I just walked past this dude. Save people from the collapsed building! Thank goodness you're here. A shell hit a tenement down the street, and people are buried beneath the rubble. Please, help me pull them out. Every pair of hands is needed. We will organize a makeshift hospital for the wounded at my home. I have some beds and medical supplies. Will you help? They're just asking for help from one person, nothing else. I'll s yeah, I'll send them out. Good luck. Really hope that doesn't go poorly for us. Hey, Bruno. Let's see. This is the, He's the cook of our party. Before the war, I used to own a restaurant. Even had my own TV show, Bruno's Cuisine. I'm sure you've seen it. I've visited beautiful places where I was filmed cooking exquisite dishes. All that seems of no importance now. Don't you think? Nowadays, you're lucky if you can get your hands on some canned meat or a bag of rice. And who knows how long this war is going to last. Then day four update is, The people from the collapsed house have, have good neighbors who didn't leave them to their fate. Many others are less fortunate. So that's an update about the fact that, uh, oh, he's a smoker, that's going to be annoying. That's just a little update about the fact that we helped out. And that, uh, let's see, we need, we need filters. So we helped out, and that'll be good for them, and, uh, ho the idea here is, I think one of the other updates I've seen was, was that, hopefully, uh, they'll return the favor when things, when all things go through. Ideally, the, uh, people will then come help us when we need help. Marco says we just had to go help our neighbors. They prob- they would probably do the same for us. Yep, there's the th there's that thought process. Look at him, he's- he's content. Isn't that nice? He's- he's happy we helped out. And so we get content, and- and that content's the last thing I expect to hear in the context of this whole war. You don't expect anyone to ever be content. So, if I use a filter on this clean water- ra uh, rainwater collector, I can make fil- I can just make water, basically. This is good. So with this, I can get water here in the base. And that's great news, because that means I don't have to gather water all the time, necessarily. That, that increases our supply for cooking. And then if I can make an axe, I can start chopping up some of these cabinets and stuff around the house that don't really matter. Which will greatly increase our supply of wood. And that's also good, because if we can get more wood, then we'll be more capable of, uh, of, uh... Well, I won't have to grab wood on my runs, necessarily. The improved workshop enables manufacturing more sophisticated items and appliances. Providing us with more options to get food or meds and trade goods. We can upgrade it to further to make electrical improvements. I can't upgrade it without three more components? Parts? Parts, that's what they call it. Kind of vague name, so you can understand why I mixed them up. I don't think we can make an axe right now, at all. Let's see, I made a rainwater collector. I've made a filter for the rainwater collector. I think I have to keep making those. We should make a bed. I didn't make a bed yet, did I? No, I didn't make a bed yet. Let's work on that. Extra bed is good. Right now, staying safe involves a setup where, uh... One person guards the house during the night, and one person goes scavenging at night. So between those two things, we end up in a situation where, like, what am I, what am I, like, uh... I'd say the outcome of that is that, like, Two people basically don't sleep at night, so I need to come up with this way to sleep at night. What does it take to upgrade the work metal workbench? Oh, a lot of everything. We need a lot of components, wood, and parts. I would say between the two we need, what, like seven parts? We need a whole lot of wood, and we need uh, a whole lot of components. I'll try to get a bunch of those in general. We'll have to wait until the uh, nighttime scavenging session to try to get some of that stuff. But yeah, I think we have a lot of wooden furniture that doesn't matter that we can beat down. And that's gonna matter, because 
One of our ultimate goals is going to be to barricade this place. That's just common sense. And what do you use to barricade a place? Wood. And if I'm going to level this place up and try to defend it, we're going to need a lot of wood. That said, I don't, if I, if I, I don't know how to get an axe. I know the axe exists, but I don't know how to get it. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see, you... You're tired. You might as well just lay down for now. You're gonna be on night watch soon. You have got no reason to be here. Alright. I'm... I actually might click end day. We have no more debris to scavenge. We're out of supplies for crafting. I think we're completely out of supplies for crafting, basically. Let's see. Let's check, uh... I can't do anything here. Water's currently happening very slowly. I'll check, uh... Lockpicks? How many do I have? You have zero. Oh, okay. Let's make a lockpick. If I make a lockpick, that'll help me when, I, when it's time to scavenge tonight. That'll hopefully pan out. There we go. And at this point, I think I'll just end the day. Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to get anything else done. Hopefully there's not major downsides to ending the day. Alright, so this is where I left off last time. And when I when my game crashed. I got this far. So just like last time, uh, Pavle did not come back. Or Pavel. So he's missing. Don't know what's going to happen there. I went ahead and made the same decision as I did when I was going in blind. Because I didn't want to change my decision. But I'm worried about that. The fact that he doesn't come back. So... Uh, Bruno's going to have to guard, which is rough because he's already tired. That's a bummer. Uh, probably could have had him rest more during the day. Uh, we're going to scavenge with Marco like we always do. And tomorrow, if we're safe, hopefully Bruno is going to uh, cook for everybody. Uh, Marco and Bruno will get a chance to sleep in our two beds, which will be nice. And we'll figure out what to do. So, one of my priorities here... Let's see... Trying to think of how to handle this. So I need... Probably don't want to go to the same spot. It's mostly scavenged. This place has lots of food and lots of meds, which is always great news. Right, but that's the... Old people. I don't really want to... I'm not ready to attack old people. <laughs> if I can avoid that, I'd like to. This place has lots of food, huge amounts of materials. Lots of meds. Seems to just... It doesn't... Have, it has some food, but lots of everything else and huge amounts of materials. That seems like a good place to go. In fact, I think that's where I went last time, and I think it's where it, we crashed. Um, probably want to bring the shovel... I don't know. Mixed feelings on the shovel, just because the shovel takes up an inventory slot. Uh, at least with the lockpick, it's something that goes... Uh, I'll bring the shovel. Why not? I believe we have no weapons to bring, for the most part. I don't want to bring the knife, because we need that to defend the house. That gives my one character back there one item. So that's really... That's all I really want to take. I'm not planning on, uh... I'm not currently planning on encountering any sort of NPCs to trade with. You've got to be able to encounter other NPCs in this game. So just to check, there's no way to save at all? No? Alright. I'd very much like to be able to physically save the game because of what happened last time, but we're just gonna have to accept that I can't, and really just sort of hope that the game doesn't crash on me again. So we have one creature walking around. It's probably a rat. Sincerely hope it's a rat. There's one upstairs, too. They're on ground level, which kind of helps encourage the idea that it may be a rat. Let's see what we can grab. And I'm just going to not hit gather all, because that crashes the game. There we go. That's a good sign. This is where... So everything's uncharted ter territory for me now. I did that, and it crashed the game last time. So we'll see. We're just going to try to grab as much as we can. Lots of wood will be good news for me. I hope that the sounds we're hearing are all rats. This goes on for days in this direction. Maybe I should go up first, because it's all nearby, whereas... ...down will go into a whole other area. It's trying to linger too much, because it take this all takes time. Why is it... ...trying to drag the screen, it's like weirdly jerking back on me. Hopefully this game doesn't have like... ...like mines or something? That'd be a bummer. Although, who would place a mine in the middle of- Yeah, I guess there's no reason to place a mine in the middle of a building like this. It's just some random building. Who cares? Hey, shovel? Oh, it's like... 
It's got a durability meter. Interesting. Wait, what is that? That's cover? You can take cover behind it? Okay, I'm sorry, scavenge then. Does the shovel, shovel increases, yeah, it increases my scavenging speed. I got distracted by the fact that it, <laughs> I thought I had to click on the shovel, but I think that's me arming myself with a shovel for combat and not for uh, checking things out. I'd very much, I'd very sincerely like to avoid getting Marco killed. Especially since I don't know if Pavel's gonna come back. What's that? Oh, just something I can look at. Glad I have this shovel. I know, right? Isn't that great? We're gonna cover some serious ground tonight, hopefully. Empty? There's a hole in the ground, apparently. Oh, it's a ladder. We'll ignore that for now. That's the other side of the door. We're like, ooh. That little place. Ooh, that's a lot of wood and components. That's all we can carry. That's a lot of wood and components. Not enough... It's a lot of... What, what are they called? Yeah, we have components, but not... We don't have uh, parts yet. I do want more parts. Yeah. I'll keep looking around for parts, and I'll replace some of my wood with that, I think. Ideally. What's over here? Don't see anything out here. I don't know if I'd want to go in the open. There could be a sniper. They keep warning me about snipers with with the ambient dialogue and stuff like that. So I think if it's if it's if it's exposed to the outside, I think I want to avoid walking into it. I'm spooked by that kind of stuff. It's a good example of just sort of blinding my blindsiding myself with mechanics. I look a little rat down there. Just a case of like I don't know what the mechanics are, so we're going to have to guess sometimes and hope things work out. Ah, uh, that rubble's in the middle of the open. I'm gonna totally get killed, right? There's even a light, just to make me extra nervous. How risky is this? Do, dare I just go for it and like live and learn? Ah. Uh, let's just try it real quick. Real quick. Ooh, that's not bad. Maybe swap those, put those in there. Swap, swap it for some of the wood, maybe. There we go. Get away from that door. I'm sp nervous about that stuff. I genuinely, I don't know if there's a risk or not in this case. Oh wait, maybe look, quick, take a quick look. Don't see anything. Should have checked that first. Game making me jumpy. No, no food so far. Ooh, that's what I want. And it even stacks. I didn't even have to throw anything away. Oh, that's all in the open. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to. Run past that opening. There we go. I just, I don't want to risk it. There's just, there's safer thing. There's safer places to look right now. I'm also running out of time. And my inventory is full. So there's no big rush to get more weird stuff. That's probably a rat, right? How spooky would that be if I tried to- if I peek through the door and there's just a person right there? Oh, it's brought from the other side. Well, there's a ladder over there, so we're fine. That would have been such a- that would have been a jump scare right there if I peek through the door and it's like, There's a human right there! And they've got a AK-47 and 17 grenades. And they're wearing Fallout 4 armor. <laughs> Did I search- I searched you already, I think, yeah. Here we go. What's back here? What's making noise up there? It's probably a rat. What else would it be at this point? Electric parts. I should probably grab that. That seems rare. Compared to wood, at least. There's two people walking around. I'm gonna leave. It's getting late already, and my inventory's full. I'm just gonna unbar the door and move. Door is grated, but I can get through it using a saw blade. We don't have a saw blade, though. Oh, interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go for the door then. Let's just get out of here. It's getting a little late, so let's get out of here fast. So now we know there's a saw blade in this game that you need to use for barred doors. Interesting, I thought I could just- I figured I could just open it from behind, but apparently not. 
Let's get let's get out of here. Sun's rising. Marco's back. Day four is over. Had a really good haul. Look what I got. Really hope no one's dead. Night was calm. Pavel returned after helping pull some people buried under that collapsed apartment building. Marco's been searching for supplies and brought home these interesting things. Cool. Pavel's alive. What's Marco's update? Day five. Uh, we need to make sure we have enough food for everybody. Yeah, that'll be a priority. Let's see, you're tired. Marco, you go to sleep. Bruno, very hungry, very tired. Tired. Sorry about that. Has anyone got any food left? I have to eat something. Yeah, I'll get you to. I'll get you to eat cooking right now. Hungry, slightly sick, tired. You're gonna go to sleep. I wish I could help Bruno. He looks so hungry. We're all going to eat very soon. Is Bruno the only one that's very hungry? He is. All right, so Bruno's about to eat some food. Wow, he looks like shit, by the way. We're gonna have him cook for himself. The other characters are gonna sleep in the meantime. Here we go. Um, yeah, just make one quick bit of food. Other characters are sleeping to get over the fact that they didn't sleep at all last night. And we'll have to see what else I can make at this point. You have, let's have you eat. Oh shit, sorry, go to sleep. Lost track of who I was controlling for a second there. Right, let's make Bruno not very hungry. There we go. So we are better off now. We can, uh, we can eat more food each day once we hit the point where we have more food to spend. I'm gonna let Bruno sleep, because he's very tired. It was a bit of a waste to have this guy try to sleep, I guess, at all. Because how's the run- how's the water filter doing? We don't have a water filter right now, so I'm gonna have to make one of those if I want to do that. Can I upgrade? I don't know if I brought enough back. Improved workshop. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do it. Are you not sleeping? Whoops. Get in there. Sorry about the cigarettes, but also... Who cares, man? I have trouble relating with that problem. It's like... The, the everything's coming to an end. Surely it's a good time to not care about cigarettes anymore. Like maybe you would just get over it. But I don't know if that's a reasonable thing. I've never been addicted to cigarettes, so I don't know. Seems like times of scarcity are a bad time to have any kind of addiction to anything. What's the next upgrade's going to cost? Thirty components. Fifteen wood. Five parts. That's. It seems to say that, okay, advanced workshop allows us to make electrical appliances such as uh, heat lamps for gardens and mixers for herbal workshops or for metal workshops. Those are some complicated sounding things. Let's just see what I can build now in general. That got bigger. Okay. You can make an armchair instead of just a regular chair. One armchair will be made. Let's see. An armchair is a comfortable piece of furniture. If you sit in it with a good book, you can almost forget about war. So that's a morale booster. Gonna want to build some of those. Board up. Uh, we can board up holes and windows in the building for more protection against looters. Unfortunately, I need one more wood to get started. So I can't even do that. There's a guitar? Having something to occupy time is important. A guitar can brighten up our mood, especially if the person playing it knows what they're doing. I don't think I have anyone in this party is known for being a guitarist. I can make an herbal garden and an herbal workshop. Ooh, so the herbal workshop's its own separate workshop. A table with some uh, simple equipment where we can prepare herbal meds, bandages, low quality roll up cigarettes. We can upgrade to make real meds and good quality cigarettes. So, cigarettes are good for trading and for keeping Bruno happy. And, uh, meds are obviously good for keeping our, our people alive. Traps for small animals. That'll require 10 parts, and I do not have those. Uh,. The only small animals left seem to be rats. Still, meat is a rare commodity in wartime. We simply have to put in some bait and wait. So you can trap animals for food, and we can get rainwater for cooking, for, as cooking water. That's a good combination. Those are good things to have. 
Let's see. This requires components, which we usually have a lot of, even if I'm a little short of them in some ways. I wonder if I should just... I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make a filter and run and run the... Uh, that'll let me w run the uh, water filter. And we'll just build up our supply of water as best we can. How's our water doing right now? Four, yeah. We're not exactly overflowing with water, so... Keeping this supply going would be a good idea. That means we'll have more water. Which hopefully means I don't have to, to uh, gather it all the time. How are you guys doing? Very tired. He's probably not going to get up today. You're tired. Marco will probably wake up mid midday, so relatively soon, I think. But Pavel's going to have to stick it out for now. I'm hoping that Bruno spending the entire night in bed might make him recover to not being tired anymore. And maybe he can cover while Pavel sleeps, because he I don't think he slept last night either. But I think Bruno didn't sleep at all last night, or the, I think I think he guarded the house for two nights in a row. There we go. Marco can come up here, so you can go ahead and take a rest. Oh, trying to catch up on everybody's uh, level of rest here. I hope we'll manage to keep it warm in here. 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Not a problem so far, but it might get colder. I think this game has seasons. So if it has seasons, I have to worry about it getting colder over time. The heater is an object you can build, so that makes sense. But what am I going to do now? What do I want to do? I think I'm short on all of my supplies. I think I've exhausted them already. Is that already half empty? Oh wait, no, I think the durability meter caps out like right here? The dark part? It's a little. It's hard to see against the background, but I think the... The durability bar might be at like 80%, but it does seem we've lost some. Let's see our updated thoughts. Fortunately, our shelter is a place where we can get some respite from war. We only have one chair, we have beds, and we sleep in decent conditions. If someone gets sick or wounded, they have a place to rest. We've made a radio, and we like listening to it. We have a few books. A good book helps forget the horrors of war. Staying here offers slight respite in these hard times. We lack cigarettes. We have breaches in the walls. Our shelter is not safe, and we have to constantly be on guard. All right, so not a, not a ton of problems, really. Uh, minor complaint about not having enough chairs, a mention of needing cigarettes. The biggest thing that our party is thinking about right now is that we need to fortify. Unfortunately, I just upgraded my workstation, which required most a lot of my wood, and fortifying is gonna require even more wood, although not that much more. So at this point, it comes down to waiting for the next uh, night to start so I can scavenge more items, really. I might be ahead of the game a little bit. Or I could be already dooming us, who knows. Okay, uh, nice and warm. No, ch no change in weather yet. Classical music. Nice and warm. So, uh, most animals have disappeared from the streets. Keep that in mind when buying meat from dubious sources. Extreme shortages. Rock music. All right. Go ahead and put down that. Put on that classical real quick. And we'll just hang out and let people rest. He's still very tired. Oh, just saw him tick over to tired. That's that's progress. He's tired. He's recovering from being sick. Marco's just hungry. He's doing well. He's no longer content, unfortunately. But otherwise, we're doing okay. Some people are going to be very hungry tomorrow, so we'll have, be sure to cook for them. But I think. I think I'm gonna skip ahead now. I just, at some point you're out of materials to build with, so I don't think there's any reason to stick around at that point. Alright, so Marco is going to scavenge, because of all that free space he has. Uh, you're, you're hungry and slightly sick, you're hungry- Oh! Look at that! Neither of these guys are currently tired, not bad. I'll let Pavel guard tonight. Actually, he's sick. He'll sleep in a bed. Bruno's going to guard, because he's the healthiest person that's not scavenging. S oh, new location. A few new locations. Sniper Junction. A city. The city center used to be beautiful, with parks, squares, and, mon uh, and monuments. Surrounded by old buildings. Unfortunately, numerous incidents with civilians shot out there earned it the nickname Sniper Junction. We may find valuable things there, but it's very risky. Wow. 
So there's some food, huge amounts of materials, lots of med, lots of parts, and a very real risk of being shot to death. <laughs> no biggie, right? Yeah, let's not go there. Uh, I think that's why Pavel being a fast runner is mentioned as a thing. Because I think you probably want to have him go for a run in that kind of location if you need to get resources and you were that desperate. There's another new one, small, small apartment building. This old apartment building is owned by an elderly couple and their son. They are still around, somehow managing, managing to fend off looters. They probably have supplies like food and meds, but won't be willing to share them with us. We could try to steal or take them by force. Lockpicks might come in handy. Wow. Wow. Just, they're just double... They're just doubling up on the idea of these people that I can rob. It's kind of horrifying. Yeah, we, we've barely even... We've barely gone through this school so far, so I probably want to go further into that. But the supermarket's tempting because it's supposed to have a lot of food. Huge amounts of weapons and parts. Caution advised. That's kind of concerning. Oh, a crowbar could come in handy. I don't think I have one of those yet, so we should hold off until I build one of those. I only have a knife and a shovel, I think. Yeah, let's go back to the shelled school again. I think that's a reasonable approach. Ah. Uh, we ran out of space last time, so I'm wondering... I'm gonna avoid bringing the lockpick until I think I need it. I'm just gonna go empty-handed. That'll give us more space to grab stuff. Here we go. Take a quick peek. No one here. I'm just gonna always be careful. I don't know. This bear, Maybe this area never has anyone here for all I know, but I'm just gonna... ...not take risks for now until I know better. It still distracts me how he looks like... He just looks like Mike from Red Letter Media and it weirds me out. Because I've seen old videos of that of him looking younger and skinnier and he basically just looks like that. Alright, so confirmed, that's just a rat. Alright, let's check this little desk. I think I checked it already, but I can carry whatever's on it now. And I'll, I'll want to take most of it. Yep, there's just some stuff there. I mean, I'll, I'll want to take virtually everything with me at this point. So what do you stash on this desk here? There we go. Some more parts. Let's peek through the door. Hopefully I don't find out that this door can't open, because it's the only place left to go, really. What's that? Is that a hiding spot? Like, woo hoo hoo They took my food again. Someone's here. Yeah, you can always count on friends. Oh no. Should I meet them? What if they're friendly? Or are they going to attack me? There is no hope. Who's talking? There's no one there. Oh, he's on the ground. What if I go really slowly? Can I sneak past him? Uh-oh. I'm a little freaked out that there's a spinny symbol on my mouse right now. What's doing that? He hasn't noticed me so far. Maybe... They talked about homeless people. Maybe he'll just ignore me for now? Maybe he just... Yeah, it sounds like he's been wronged by his friends. Oh, there's a homeless guy here, too. Hey, don't sneak up on me like that, pal. Sorry. Alright, well, he seems rather unfazed by my presence. So maybe I don't have to worry about him so much. Alright, there's just homeless people here. And they don't seem particularly concerned. They just want to get a quiet night's sleep. Slightly alarming, there's useful stuff all around me that they're not using. But, uh... Ooh, look at that. That looks like it could be useful. What's that? What am I, what am I looking at right now? Oh, I think that's a plant garden. It looks green, like, and it looks like leaves. So if I had a saw, I could go through that door. And I could get access to that kind of stuff. I'm just going to go upstairs. I don't want to walk over this guy because he might freak out on me or something. If there's anything that's uncharted territory right now, it's probably interacting with humans. But, I'd pr but it seems like common courtesy. Hey, don't walk on top of that guy who's sleeping. Ooh, what's in here? Yeah, this is just filled with people being miserable. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Um... I think I can leave. <laughs> Not that much wood, all things considered. Decent amount of water. Uh, I don't want to drop water, do I? It might be it might be worth it for two, for two wood. Ten wood. I need that'll help me board the house up and stuff like that. I should probably do it. But yeah, lots of components. Not very many parts, unfortunately. But it's good. I might just say, hey, full, inven full inventory and get out of here. Okay, I can climb back out of here without anyone noticing me. They might be mad at me for looting, but no one saw me do it. So far, no one's seen me do anything, really. And this guy doesn't even react to me, apparently. Alright, good to know. If you're gonna go into the school, you just have to fully get used to the idea that, uh... You have to get used to the idea that people are going to be here, and, uh... Hope they don't go hostile on you. Let's try run to exit. Okay, so it just it sprints all the way back to the beginning. Uh, that makes me nervous. Just c oh wow, he just beats doors down too. That's a little extreme. I probably won't use that. It makes me feel uncomfortable. And I I always worry like, what if somebody's standing by the door and they ambush you? 